and Squirrel Stampede is playing Minecraft once again. It's been a little while, about two weeks I think, maybe a little bit more even. Been reviewing a ton of toys lately. Things are just filling up my office so I haven't had as much time for gameplay, but I am catching up today. Even Pikachu is here watching with me. Hopefully he won't fall over. There would be pieces everywhere. And so there we go. We're back to playing Another Day Episode 8, I believe it is. Uh, right away you might have noticed uh, about an hour before I started this video, I kind of cleared out some more forest. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I started a little bit in the last episode and it was just going to take too long. So I figured I'd do that in the off hours. And so I kind of cleared a big cut right through this once huge, very dense forest. Fern! Golly! No! What have you done? And this way, I just have a little more area to play in. And I've got a wolf right there. A lot of big trees that I had to cut through. Uh, but we got through them. And over here, it's starting to get a little less developed. Uh, when you first kind of walk through, I had things looking nice. Uh, but over here, we're still kind of working. Got a little bit of a path going. I love doing paths. Uh, they're just fun to do. I could go for miles and miles of path making. Uh, this tree eventually needs to go. It's kind of in the way here. Uh, but let's just kind of walk over here. This area was kind of fun because it was lower and I kind of wanted to keep the path as straight as I could. I kind of like keeping it very level unless you really hit a weird hill. Sometimes you'll go through a hill, sometimes you won't. This time I went up. I'm kind of thinking maybe by episode 10 we'll place another squirrel house up here. I think that would be fun to have a squirrel here and a squirrel way over there. So there's our squirrel house way over there. Kind of neat looking at that from that perspective. Uh, up here lots of uh, mountainous terrain, maybe even some uh, snowy biome. Maybe not, maybe that's we're just up high, but kind of an interesting area up here I'd like to kind of explore more someday. Look at those Look at those formations, that's cool. There's probably something really awesome under there in the mining world. But we're gonna go back today actually and mine a cave that I think we looked at way back in episode three or four. I meant to go down there the last time, but I went the other way. We didn't go there, so today we'll go there. Uh, so here we are. Let's do a quick run back to the house now that we've seen everything from this side. Okay, we are back from a short walk in the front yard, back to the house. Oh, let's check on the llama. Last time we had a llama naming poll to see what we should name the llama, and looks like quite the majority, we are gonna go with Landry. So it's Landry the llama at 69%. That's quite the majority. Uh, Snow Cone was next in line at 17%. And so obviously Landry's the big winner there. Fortnite at four. Llama Llama Chicken Trauma, one of my favorites, at three. So that's the llama's name is Landry. Thank you everyone for uh, joining in on that question poll thingy. Uh, a couple funny comments too this week. We had one from Colin Grove who said, you should name the dog Baxter. Uh, I'm hoping that is an Anchorman comment. Uh, I like the name Baxter, that's pretty funny. So one of these will be named Baxter. I'm just not sure which one. And uh, Fazbear Entertainment said, this was entertaining. So I think he was referring to the Enderman we took down in the last episode. So I think before we hit the mine, let's quickly gather up this garden. It's kind of a mess here. Let's kind of clear out some of this seed and wheat, and then we can replant a little bit. Okay, it looks like we've done a pretty good job gardening. I think we finally have caught up to a good sized garden system where we're, we'll have plenty of food. Uh, it looks like I need to eat right now. I'm going to put some of this food back in the chests and then we will head on over to the mine. Okay, I think the sun is about to set, but I think we have plenty of time to run over to the mine and be safe. We'll be underground, so nighttime won't really affect us. 
Although I hear there's a new uh, phantom mob or something going about, but I don't think we're going to have to worry about him. So let's run on over to the cave and I'll show you where I want to dig today. Okay, we are right about to where I left somewhere on episode somewhere, five or six, four or three. Uh, wanted to go down here and start checking some things out. Oh, we got some water dripping from the ceiling. This will be a good way to get down. I think we'll just use the waterfall maybe, or maybe I'll just kind of dig around a little bit and get down there the safer way. But hopefully we can dig down here and actually find some uh, some things we haven't found yet. I don't think we found redstone yet. I don't think we found lapis. I don't think we found a diamond. I don't think we found an emerald. So those are some things we really need to find. Okay, ooh, I almost fell to my doom. So let's start working on getting down here. Well, looky there, we have reached the bottom and there's really not much down here. That's kind of unfortunate. I really thought this was going to open up into something interesting, but I guess, ooh, I heard a zombie, so that's good. Uh, we are close to something. We're just going to have to dig around for a while, so I think I'll spend a little bit of time now just trying to extend some branches in this cave and maybe we can find, find some, something to connect to. Finally, I think we found something. Took a little bit of time. Hopefully this will pan out to be something interesting. So we will finally start digging out into a mine. Looks pretty interesting in there. So the first thing I gotta do here is kinda get in here safely and get out safely, just in case. Especially when you first open a mine, who knows what's inside. Of course, it's been really quiet, haven't heard anything. Lots of coal. I have a little bit of a coal shortage right now, so I could maybe spend some time getting some more coal. That's not the most exciting thing, though. Kind of just explore a real small cave. I'm really hoping, since we are in kind of an extreme hills area, this should open up eventually. We should find something really big. Just haven't found it yet. Lots of coal in here. I think this might just dead end. Yep. Let's get at least three of these. And head back the other way. Lots of coal. Always nice to kind of stock up. I think I'm going to close this water off because I think that's just going to be in the way. And we'll continue on down our path here. Hopefully this will open up. Ooh, some iron. Let's stop and get a couple pieces of iron. Eat a potato. See a little bit of light in here. Might just be my torches. Ah, finally, we have reached the lava. I'm not sure how high we are, so probably should check that, but let's just get some more 
clear out a little more area so that we're not going to get surprised. Hmm, might be a good time to put a little marker somewhere here so I know that this cave is where I need to go to get out. So to do that, I'll clear this out a little more, kind of make it nice and wide. Let's see how that goes. I brought a few pumpkins with me. Sometimes that's a good way to mark right at the start if you don't have one have something like that to go oh okay that pumpkin is where I came in so now just in case this cave gets a little crazier I know where I'm going let's shut this lava off right here you know one thing I just realized I did not bring a bucket of water with me so I've got to be a little extra careful and I've got to make sure I don't do what I just did right there turn off all the lights before I even get in there but it's exciting to actually see some lava. I think we found our first deposit of redstone. Awesome. And a little more lava. See, this is where the bucket would have come in handy. I won't really want to go too much farther in there. I don't think I really would need to go too much farther in there. But we've found some redstone, so let's dig that out. I think you have to use an iron pickaxe to get it, don't you? Um, Oh good, we found a little, oh boy, found a little bit more than just one, so that's good. We did something, we accomplished something today, we found some redstone. Cool, very good. Gonna check around a little more, make sure I didn't miss any of it. I think that was probably about it though. Good deal. Good, good deal. What should I build first with the redstone I found? Anyone have any uh, requests? I don't do much redstone stuff. Maybe in this uh, episode stuff I will look into it more. Maybe actually make something that does something. Um, usually I don't do anything, so... Now it would be a good time to learn. Also a good time to get some more iron here. So now let's go over to this side of the cave. Oh boy, there's all sorts of stuff down there. I think we finally found something really good. Oh, and I got shot by a skeleton. Oh, and I forgot to put my armor on. That was a great, great move. So let's go back over here real quick, get our armor on so we're not gonna get just immediately taken out by this skeleton. Can't believe I didn't put my armor on yet. That was, uh, that was pretty silly. So <laughs> look at there, I've got a, Nice arrow right in the ear. Oh, that stings. Let's get this armor on. Man, I can't believe I didn't put my armor on. That was really risky. So not only did I forget my bucket of water, but I did not bring uh, my proper caving tools yet. And get a sword out. At least I got an iron sword, although don't have a bow and arrow yet to really deal with the skeleton. Let's let's give it another try here see what we got here see where he is oh there's gold down there there's our we've got two skeletons but they're in a good spot I should be able to uh, kind of get them if they're hurting each other oh this is great catch up a little more food this would be the skeleton episode I guess get a little more light in here I suppose how are we doing oh nice Oh, man, let's dig out a little bit of a lower level. That way I can get him. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Oh, <laughs> hey, we got him. Two skeletons down. The dogs are going to like that. Maybe we can finally befriend that dog that's still, I think, in the tunnel. Oh, there's a third one. There's a third skeleton. Oh, this is just a very entertaining cave. I'm gonna get a little more bread here. Oh wait, this is potatoes. And we'll try again. Man, three skeletons. Never had three before like that. Oh, he disappeared, there he is. <laughs> These are silly skeletons today, silly skeletons. Oh boy. Wow, we're taking a pounding here. Just curious now how many arrows are in me. Look at that, I've got 
arrows in my eyes, like both eyes, on my shoulder, on my back. I have been just completely uh, worked on by these skeletons, so that's pretty fun. And uh, now I just kind of really weary of entering this cave. You know, what's next? A creeper or something, you know? Probably. Um, oh dear. Let's just kind of light up this area a little bit so I can kind of feel better. I really want to get that gold. I think that would be a great way to finish the episode. But I kind of want to go up first just so that I can have some light up, take the high ground, you know. Oh, there's the creeper. There it is. Oh, and I did this poorly because, oh man, this is going to hurt. He's going to blow. Oh, he's right around the corner. This is not a good spot at all. He doesn't see me. I'm going to try and sneak over here. Oh, that was so close. I don't know. I think I would have been safe by that rock, but man, this is a dangerous cave. Okay. There we go. Let's kind of look around a little more made the mistake of not making this easy to get in and out of my escape route it was poorly made poorly worked on the creeper is just right around that corner or well he was he may have walked it down now i'm hearing zombies this whole cave is just wild oh now i just took out my own torch kind of thinking the creeper must have moved down didn't he, he must have moved on down i don't see him yet Oh, great. Now I hear a witch. This cave is just not safe at all. It's toying me with, with that gold over there. It's saying, hey, come over here, get this gold. And then I hear the witch laughing. Oh, boy, this might be the first episode we see a, a death. Well, hopefully it's this guy that's making all the noise. All right. Hopefully that's the guy who's making the noise. Let's kind of go down here just a little bit. Add a torch. Kind of continue to do some step stones. Really need to work on my escape route just in case. Oh, I hear the witch closer. Oh, there she is. Oh boy. Now we're in trouble. Oh, and she hit me with something. Gotta get my sword. All right. Probably should get a cow so I can get some milk. Oh dear. How close are they? Oh, retreat. Retreat. Oh, she's right there. We're gonna just try my best. Oh, and I finally hit the death. That's really painful. Ouch. That was really smart there. Attacking that witch with half a heart. I'm gonna have to run back down and get some of my stuff. I didn't set the, um, a lot of people had said, hey, what you need to do is, uh, you know, set the button so that you have to not lose your stuff, but I don't, haven't really been able to find this on this version, so that's good. So look at there, I am completely out of stuff, but I have a good feeling about getting my stuff back, and hopefully we can finish off that way. Where did I put all my, my extra emergency gear? Got a sword, got some emergency torches, got an emergency pickaxe. Really need to um, increase my emergency gear looking at that. And we will get uh, some emergency um, potatoes, I think. We'll bake those up real quick before I go back down. Looks like it's beginning to be nighttime. And what else do I need? Kind of need something here. Bring an axe. Bring some a few wood planks. I should be able to just run in, grab my stuff, and run out. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that until morning. Hopefully I won't lose my stuff when I fall asleep here. I'm not really sure about that. I'm going to learn a few things today, I think. I was slain by a zombie. Oh, it's not fair because of that witch. I really thought I had her, but then the zombie kind of jumped in front of me. So let's go back, get our stuff. I don't think it should be too difficult. It's right up in front. I've got creepers burning outside here in the morning.
I am so lost right now. There's my stuff. Yay, I've been able to get some of it back. Especially that redstone, that was important. What a end to the level not to have the redstone. All my stuff returned. I got a little bit of my points back. Oh, what a horrible way to end it. Oops, got too much stuff on me right now. Let's get my armor back on. It's a possibility that someone ran off with my helmet. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's... I'm gonna peek my head in there one more time, but I don't want to do that with all the stuff that I have. So let's run over here to the pumpkin. I'm gonna drop down another um, crafting table. And let's make a chest. Okay, protect the uh, redstone at all costs. It's probably the best thing I found it did today. Now let's look one more time over here in this corner. Gotta have the iron sword on this one. I don't hear much, so maybe, maybe, just maybe, we can run over, grab some gold, and that would be a great finish. Oh, there's the creeper again. Oh dear, I'm just trying to get myself killed today. There he is. Still looking for my first creeper kill. I really destroyed my nice steps I just made, didn't he? Really want that gold down there, but I really know it's probably not very safe yet. Just gotta keep adding some lights in here so that the more times I come in here, the safer it's gonna be. I keep going up this hill and I keep regretting it. I hear more skeletons. Oh, there he is. Nothing beats the high ground. All right, so let's stay away from that way. I think I lit it up a little bit better. We can head down to this gold. Go down over here. Oh, we're so close to the gold. We're so close. Can you tell I have gold fever? Shiny things and squirrels are like, you know, we love it. We love shiny things. Oh, another zombie. Do you see him? It's kind of right behind that pillar. He's probably trying to figure out how to get to me. He's like, I don't understand. You see the guy, but... Okay, a little closer. Oh, he's stuck. That's why he's wearing some gold pants. It's really risky because something can come up behind me any minute. Down this way. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. This area's lit up. I don't see anything. Now we can get to the gold. Get to the gold. Oh, we're so close. I see more redstone, too. Oh, boy. How am I going to get there? Everybody stay calm and cool. I like this little bush here. That'll be a good marker. I really need to put a few more torches here and there. Make myself feel nice and safe. This area in here is nice and not safe. Seeing things. Oh, there's a lot of noise down here. Hey, look, one of my... Oh, that, that's the experience point from killing that zombie. Okay. All right, so look, I think we're actually going to get some gold, and then we're going to get out of here, and we're going to call it a day for episode eight. Awesome. I don't think we're going to lose the gold in... Oop, we got someone shooting at me again. This is not going to be made easy, is it? Who is shooting at me, and from where? Did you see it? Did you see where it was coming from? Must have been from that dark, scary spot over there. Oh, there he is. There you are. Oh, probably should be eating something, shouldn't I? We're doing this right by the lava, which isn't safe. Ooh. Oh, man. This guy is strong. Yeah, we got him. We really need to eat now. Okay, I think now, let's sneak on over, get our gold. Oh, there's a lot of gold, excellent. Two layers of it. Hopefully we won't fall into the lava. Oh, more gold, very cool. I usually don't get so much gold. It's tricky, now this could go into lava, we gotta be careful, okay, we're good. Uh, usually I don't find so much, it's kind of trickier, but we found some today, very cool. 
And a little more glowstone, not glowstone, redstone is right there, but I think I'm just gonna stop right there and we'll count our blessings. There's a spider just sitting there looking at us. He's like, oh yeah, come on over, get that redstone. That's right, I won't bite. Um, we'll just call that good and get out of here. And what a caving experience. It's, you know, it started off looking very uh, grim where I didn't think I'd find anything. Uh, we got down to that bottom of that waterfall pit and there was nothing. Uh, but somehow we lucked out, we kept digging and we found some stuff. So let's bring this back with us. I think I'll leave like a shovel here. And it, I will leave that. Well, I'll take that back for emergency. Bring that for the dogs. Take that with me. I right, hear another skeleton. Let's just get out of here. Call it good. Get back to the squirrel house. Ah, oh, one more skeleton to fight. Really? They are not happy today. Mwahaha. <laughs> so we've made it back home. I really wanted to get back home to the safety of the squirrel before that cave was such craziness. We, we did it. We're safe. That is episode eight. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty this path is, by the way, at nighttime. That's really cool. I got to keep working on that. It uh, looks really nice and skeletons are everywhere still. So we're just going to go inside and we're going to call that episode eight. Seriously, why did you attack a witch with only half a heart? Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe.